All right, I am super excited. Hello, everyone. Today, Andy and I are going to be talking about his upcoming book called Thought Mastery, The Ultimate Guide to Raising Your Vibration. Andy, hello. I'm super pumped to be talking. <laughs> okay, so hey, everyone. Um, I'm going to be talking for like the next hour um, explaining <laughs> who I am. So my name is Andy. Um, so I'm 20 years old, but I teach people how to master their thoughts and raise their vibration. So I'm gonna give you guys just a quick version um, of the story. So basically, uh, my whole life growing up, I was always overthinking. Just my mind would not shut up, and um, I just my whole life just being just I don't know being Asian, or being Chinese American, or something like I was just really going through it. Like in high school and middle school, you know, just not fitting in. Like my family was going through it. Like everything sucked, right? It's literally like the opposite of what it is today. Everything was like really bad. On top of that my mind would not shut up. So that made everything a billion times worse. And I know a lot of people can relate to that. Um, when I was like in the seventh grade, I discovered like, um, uh, like law of attraction type stuff. But you know, back then, um, that it was mostly just kind of like really like just unofficial, like not unofficial, but like just kind of not good stuff. Like very like, okay, you learn that the law of attraction exists, but the advice really sucked back in the day, especially. And, but anyway, so I got into like the law of attraction and like stuff like that. Like that was my intro to like more spiritual metaphysical stuff. Um, but the problem was none of it worked. I was still, my life still sucked. And my mind wouldn't shut up. And, but I discovered the internet um, and I discovered that the internet holds knowledge and three or four years passed of just kind of that. Um, and then like, eventually I got into like some subconscious mind stuff and that was really great um i um i was able to um let go of a lot of limiting beliefs which took me to another level um however for me even though i released a lot of limiting beliefs i could not shut up my mind still like my mind was still loud so i was still suffering like like crazy just the moment i wake up my mind wouldn't shut up and then um 2016 one summer in 2016, I remember I was the only person home. Um, my, my mom and my sister was in New York. My dad was at work. Um, it was like night, like 9 p.m. at night or something. And so since my mom is gone, I remember I love using her bathroom. I love using her room. Like her bed is like big and nice. And like, I don't know. It's like <laughs> I secretly go to her room and like take showers in there and like stuff when she's gone. Because her room or her bathroom and stuff is so nice. Anyways. I remember being on my phone when this thought occurred to me um, and I've been searching to quiet my mind for a long time, but uh, this thought occurred to me to focus intensely on one thing at a time. So I was reading an article and I would read that article with intense focus. Um, so instead of reading the article, like half of me reading the article, the other half of me, like thinking about things in the past or whatever, I realized, wow, if I fu fully focus on reading this article, then I want it, I, if I fully focus on it, then I'm not fo putting attention into feeding mm -hmm. all the thoughts of my past and stuff like that. So right. I, at that moment, so, you know, I went through like, you know, all these years of just intense, like mental suffering and, and with one click, I became intensely focused. I just literally intensely focused on whatever's in front of me. And I had this deep experience where literally like my mind shut off and I, if life felt euphoric everything felt like paradise because for the first time in my life my mind shut off and mm -hmm. so and so that was great and so um i don't know are you familiar with the eckhart tolle power of now type of, power of yes yes not like super super familiar but definitely heard of it yeah so yeah so kind of like that type basically i i didn't realize it at the time but i was basically intense keyword intensely practicing presence mm. um so not pra not practicing presence intensely practicing presence huge difference but anyways so um so anyway so that's like half the equation like i, pra I teach presence is half the equation silence your mind but so i went through two years of just kind of like uh having a quiet mind um so that was 2016 so the euphoria the euphoric bliss feeling eventually started to fade away but my mind was still quiet and it started feeling peaceful 
Um, and I, I believe the euphoric feeling was there because um, like when, when you are at a negative 10, going to like neutral feels amazing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when you're in traffic going one mile per hour, going five miles, 10 miles per hour feels amazing, you know? Yeah. So um, anyways, so I got in a relationship, life happens and I kind of, kind of lose myself. I kind of lose my practice, lose my presence, kind of lose a lot, everything kind of just because got in a relationship and a lot of, it was a lot of internal stuff that I could not still, I don't know. It was a weird time. Right. So I went through like a, this weird time where life was good, but then it started falling apart after a while. Um, just because I kind of lost my like practice or whatever. Then in 2019 last year, Mm-hmm. Um, I got out of a relationship and I was heartbroken and I was at rock bottom and I started to kind of repractice presence again and it, it started going well. I was able to get through something so heartbreak, something that would took me like a year to start getting over. I got over in like one or two months, like, mm. you know, like these, like these things in the past took forever for me to heal from. But anyway, so March comes around and you know i'm doing better i'm repracticing presence but i got arrested and that whole process of getting arrested you know getting a felony and everything i realized something something deep something clear which is okay just because i'm very present does not mean that i have a high vibration Mm -hmm. so i started to realize because i looked around in my life even though my mind was quiet i look around my life i still wasn't happy with the way things were like as far as my relationship with my family sucked like i um i really wanted to you know grow my podcast grow my audience but i wasn't really making as much progress at the time that i would like mm. um you know i wish i had better friends i wish you know like i would be you know doing a lot of other stuff i wish i was at the time i wish i was thin, like you know like in better shape blah 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 but anyway, so June 5th comes around. That was the day I really realized, like, oh, my gosh, what I am looking for is to raise my vibration rather than just presence. So I raised my vibration and everything changed. So I, try, I wanted to hit 1,000 followers um, by the end of the year. And I was, like, I was halfway there, right? So I was, like, perfectly on track. And, like, I raised my vibration and then, like, I hit a thousand like next like week or two week or something crazy like that. And, or, and then like week after that hit like 2000, 3000 and like everything in my life started to go amazing. So that was June 5th. It's almost been a year, but my life has dramatically changed in that year. Like I'm doing the best I've ever done. And long story short, like to this day, to this day, I help people. Uh, so people, let's say um, someone comes to me and they're really struggling with their thoughts. So what I do first is usually, I mean, it's very customizable, obviously, one-on-one is. um, So, but if someone comes to me uh, and they're struggling with their thoughts, I teach them intense presence. I teach them all these things to quiet their mind. And then afterwards, I, um, once they quiet their mind, I usually teach them how to raise their vibration. Um, I teach Mm -hmm. them how to um, direct their thoughts in a positive direction, like, uh, practicing gratitude every day it's it's like you know how people think negative thoughts all day like all they do is play negative thoughts on repeat but if you slowly start feeding your positive thoughts not nothing crazy is we're not doing affirmations an hour a day we're literally just doing some techniques for like two three minutes a day that's Mm -hmm. it but it's shown dramatic results so the pairing of the combo is really like what i mostly teach um but yeah so that's a very quick very quick yeah, and actually that that answered both questions is like tell us a little bit more about you and where did you get the idea to write your book? So it sounds like because of your experience <clears throat> you were able to learn how to raise your own vibrations and it gave yeah. you the idea to share like the steps are they put into steps or is it more like storytelling? What's the the flow All of, of it. dialogue? It's All a it. it's a legit book. Like That's it's great. not Yeah, um Everything is that even though the stories and stuff, it's all direct to the point. Like it's all like just like I wrote. So basically I wrote um, real quick, the whole summary of the book, though, uh, the, I mean, the whole idea of the book you have to know first is just that raising your vibration is all about your thoughts. Like that's my thing, which is like because, you know, in the past I thought and like everyone who everyone 
all these new people, you know, who ask me, they think raising their vibration is about like exercising an hour a day or doing all these like intense stuff. Uh, but they, but they don't realize all of this is indirect. There's only one thing that directly raises your vibration uh, from my, te- from my teaching point of view. There's only one thing from my point of view, there's only one thing that raises your vibration, which is your thoughts. Whatever your thoughts is, is your vibration you download. So when you're complaining or doubting or fearing and you're feeding those thoughts, then that's the vibration you're downloading. But when you're, when you're present, you're at a more neutral vibration because you're not thinking thoughts. But when you know how to tune into appreciation after you master the presence or whatever, then your life takes a ne- next level. Now you're feeling amazing all the time. You're not just feeling neutral. You're feeling good all the time. Life is working for you every day. Amazing things happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but it starts with the thoughts. It's not about anything else other than your thoughts. So that's kind of like what I teach is the mastery of your thoughts is the key to success in every area of your life. Like that's my thing. So that's great. And again, answer the other question is, you know, what do you mean when you say raise your vibration? So, and I can yeah. totally, vi- I can totally vibe with that as well as like being able to shift my mindset, you know, cause I also very similar story, by the way, about like how 2016, you felt like you, you know, were in this really weird, like really challenging period of your life can totally relate for me. It was specifically April, 2016, where I hit my personal mm. rock bottom. Um, mm. And it was, you know, again, having OCD and having these loud self-loathing, like wow. negative self-destructive thoughts over through everything. And I was super depressed and, you know, went into this really dark period and what changed and see without really knowing like anything about vibrations then like I had heard about it because you know again it's something that you hear about like law of attraction and similar similar kind of thing it's like you know I didn't really know how to get out of that state of mind um and I just remember you know like one specific day where I was you know sitting in like a meditative state Um, I talked a little bit about this, um, in another like YouTube video, but my uncle who had passed, he took his own life. I felt like his presence present with me and, um, sort of that experience like taught me that he took his life. Like I felt like he told that to me and it sounds woo woo and crazy. And like a lot of people probably would be like, how does that, you know, how is that possible? But you know, there was just this like comfort of knowing that, he was with me and it was almost like you have to change your mind, like your mindset and elevate your vibes as well. And like, there was this like internal switch that I was like, for my own safety and sanity, like I have to make a change. Um, and you know, I turned to like books, practices, pot, like, and at the time it wasn't podcasts, but like what really helped me is shifting my focus as well. Um, I think the way that you described it is like the intense focus you know, being able to like quiet the, the mean girl or the mean boy or whatever it is that's in your head and focusing on like one thing at a time or focusing on the feeling of like being grateful or the feeling mm. of being proud of yourself or the feeling of being happy. It's like all of that redirects your focus. And that was really what helped me, you know, shift out of, out of, you know, the state that I was in. So I'm really glad that you brought that up. And it's awesome that, you know, this is, something that now you're you're sharing with people and you wrote this book about it like that is absolutely amazing so thank you on behalf of all of us for what you do yeah um yeah like so that's that's awesome so for me it was summer 2016 so april was like almost summer i know it's so crazy as soon as i heard you say that i was like no way 2016 must have been like a really pivotal year for a lot of people dude yeah but for me it was like okay the next two years um it was great. So it went like this. Right. And then, I, 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 <laughs> but like, and, but it all made sense though. Like it was all made sense. Like going downwards was awesome. A lot of things. It was just kind of like me facing some demons that I was refusing to face. Um, yes. That is that was a, big like thing. a lot. Of, that was a lot. Of, there was a reason to my like downfall. Right. Like there was, you know, like looking back at it, like, it's not like, Oh, it must've ha- it had to have happened that way. Or you must've suffered so much. Like, Sure, the suffering was great, but a lot of times, I don't know, I just feel like it was just kind of, when, when, usually when life is just really like, just like hard, you're going through a really tough time, it's usually yourself, it's usually your vibration, what you're focused on, and it's just kind of like, you're not getting past it, you, you know, so, 
Um, well, I just want to make it clear, just that it doesn't need to take 10 billion years to like reach, you know, or, or, you know, 10 billion years of suffering or whatever to, you know, like reach a certain state that you want to reach, you know, but, but I would like to add to what you said, it's just like your mind is just always like, it, it, especially for beginners, your mind, it's like almost always needs to focus on something. Mm-hmm. And so for, for most people with default, they already built up this energy of, these negative things that they're focused on. So it's so easy for them to build all this momentum, but your so your, th- your thoughts are magnetic, right? So like when you start thinking these negative thoughts, they get stronger and bigger. So that's why most people struggle with their negative thoughts. That's why I teach presence because they have this huge negative momentum. So we just need to slowly shrink that and just build the positive momentum over here, you mm-hmm. know? And yeah. that positive momentum actually, it's like passive income almost. Like you practice it for a minute or two a day and then like, you'll just naturally start gravitating that way. It's just like a lot of people, they're not depressed. They don't, they don't go from neutral to depressed in one day. A lot of the times, usually it's like, it's a very gradual feeding and then uh, of the negative momentum and it becomes really strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I, I think what would also be really awesome to, to chat a little bit about and share with everyone is, you know, to get a little bit of a sneak peek into the book. Yeah. Um, are you able to share? I have nothing. Yeah, I have nothing secretive. Like I, <laughs> the book is not the purpose of the book is not to be secretive. It's really just to help people understand this. Um, yeah. Um, for like for me, it's just like all my knowledge is like for free. Like, but as far as like just kind of okay, I do know that some people they even though they have all the knowledge, they still struggle, and that's where the coaching comes in. So mm-hmm. the book, the book, it starts off by um talking about your thoughts like helping people kind of realize like okay they're focused on all this stuff but just if they can just focus on mastery their thoughts the mastering their internal world in a, in this specific way they will um like reach you know like people you know they try to work and work or they do all these things right like oh i'm gonna work for a year so i can go on vacation for a week or so i can be unhappy for a year and be happy so and be happy for like a day or something uh but the reality is if you prioritize the way you feel inside your external reality if if you believe in this vibration stuff right because my material is not for anyone who doesn't resonate right if you don't resonate that's fine with me like you know but for me if you resonate with this stuff um it's it's like okay so you know i was struggling with uh my weight my 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 physical appearance my whole my whole life up until very recently i'm talking about like very very recently like um i have i struggle with my weight i struggle with my self-image i struggle with the way i look i look in the mirror and like for every like 10 seconds i will have to look in the mirror to make sure i don't to look for anything negative or whatever like it's crazy then i realized oh my gosh even though I'm, I'm just looking at this story every day that I'm playing in my head of just my self image. So I'm still feeding my self image every day by feeding this internal story of my self image. So mm-hmm. this is crazy. So I literally changed my self image. I changed my fucking sense of self. This is just an example, right? Uh, of like changing your internal vibration and your external real- reality will directly reflect that like a projector like i'm talking about directly not on some like oh like your chances of becoming more successful becomes 10 percent more likely or or whatever i'm talking about like directly more like directly um so i changed my self-image and so i changed my internal story and that took a a while it didn't take like a day it took like a very gradual shift and it started with like just little stuff like noticing little things i appreciated about myself for Mm -hmm. example like Hey, I have clear skin. I like, you know I'm Asian. Like I have clear skin. You know, um, <laughs> little things like that. And for the first time in my life, like I, I'm, I f- just gradually start feeling like free. And I, just, my, my, the way I feel, like I looked improved. And then, like, I literally my physical have uh, appearance has improved just because I lost so much weight, like so effortlessly. Like literally, I changed my, like I lost like so much weight, like effort, and I eat a lot. And <laughs> and like yeah, but anyway, so just if everyone just got a piece of paper right now and just kind of recorded every thought they think they will know exactly why they're getting what they're getting in their life 
but I don't focus on some manifesting type of stuff. I don't focus on that. The main focus is on alignment. So that just means raise your vibration in any way possible and just kind of be consistent with it. And once you start having a higher and higher vibration, everything in, in your life will start to change to the way you want it. So it's not about like spending every day, like visualizing all the time, but, but like time after time, like, you know, someone can come up, they're struggling with their family member or their kid or their spouse. And then they they give you an hour, like just every time you hear them talk about their spouse or whatever, you hear them talk about like, like this negative story, right? They're literally showing you their story. And I'm like, wow, Hey, look, I know that all these negative things are going on with your spouse or whatever. But when you change literally, but it's not that, okay, the spouse is here and then you're feeling negative. Like you're feeling that your vibration is in resonance with that spouse. So when you change your story, like either they're going to change or they're going to get out of your life or something amazing that you, that is towards what you want will happen. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, but, but, but anyways, but when you just start raising your vibration, like it will just generally, it will just all start happening. So that's the key, but raising your, so you raise, so you change your, you change your thoughts, which raises your vibration, which puts you in alignment because when you have a mm -hmm. higher frequency, when you have a higher frequency, you connect with source, right? You connect with the, the frequency of the higher self of source. And, but the thing is, um, so I believe when negative things happen a lot of times, it's because we're out of alignment. Um, um, like when things really don't go our way, we're out of alignment. So it's, it's almost like, it's almost like if you're religious, it's almost like, okay, so this God energy, right? And God energy is not going to lower its energy to just because you're sad you, you, the only na you're, you're naturally in alignment with source energy but the problem is we have so much free will that we can choose to get out of alignment so getting out of alignment is always possible because you know uh but it's not because god had is got it, it's not because okay god or something uncontrollable outside of you has gotten you out of alignment. When in reality, even though I know, look, some fucked up shit has probably happened to you externally, but your, but your mastery of your thoughts is going to determine your future. So like, because your mastery of vibration which will determine your future. Hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And, and I think the part about what you said when yeah. you were struggling with like, you said self-identity or like, you know, there were so many things that you, you either wanted to change or didn't like about yourself. I mean, again, that that's very relatable and like totally resonates with me and something I can vibe on because yeah. when I was also going through all of the things that I was going through, yeah. the primary dialogue, this like soundtrack in my head, and I love how you said like, if someone were to take out a pen and paper right now and just start writing down yeah. all the thoughts or imagine if there was a tape you. recorder and it was like recording yeah. all the thoughts and you played it back yeah. at the end of the night, yeah. It's like, would you go to bed happy and feeling like you did an awesome, like you had a great day? Or would you go to bed feeling like, oh my God, I'm a piece of shit. Like everything sucks. I'm so miserable. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of the times I was using like external things like good grades and yeah. trying to be a, a people yeah. pleaser and trying to be a perfectionist to like gain this. Yeah. But really it was coming from this place of like, uh, there were so many things that I hated about myself too. And I didn't want to accept and love yeah. those parts of me. <clears throat> so I think that's also where what I would love to add is like, you know, in a similar way, like my ability to raise my own vibrations without really yeah. knowing that's what I was doing was like yeah. looking at the parts of myself oh, yeah. that I didn't like and say, you know what, like this is temporary or it's okay that you don't love this part yet, you know, and, and basically talking to myself in a more empowering way um, and just learning how to love those parts of myself that I despised at one point you know so so mm -hmm. a good ahead, way yeah. to uh, okay yeah so like man there's a lot to talk about here but yeah like literally <laughs> i know there's so many things it. to unpack this is like such a great topic right. <laughs> right and so like for like the whole tape recorder thing right it's like okay so you have all these thoughts right like um and so let's say you have a thought i hate my boss right so when you think those thoughts for a while mm -hmm. um not only are you kind of attracting more of that direction 
um, just don't even look at the words. Just look at the frequency under the words, right? So when you're complaining about your boss, that's the frequency, your general frequency you're downloading, right? So just kind of pay attention to the frequency under the thoughts, right? And just kind of see, okay, this is why I'm going that direction in my life. Um, and then, you know, then you can look at the specifics. So when you're complaining about your boss, you're, you're getting more of your, you know, complaints about bo your boss based on the law of attraction, but you're also just getting more, more of just negative things in general to complain about when you complain about your boss. So when you're giving gratitude, when I give gratitude for how nice my skin is or something, I'm only, I'm not only attracting even better skin and more stuff like that. I'm also attracting anything, even money. Just by raising my vibration about my, my skin, I'm, I'm attracting more money, more relationship, more health, whatever it is that you want. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, that was the first thing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, uh, that was the first I thing. This. I said <laughs> tape recorder in your mind. Um, and, then, and then you kept talking, which was what I wanted to add on after you. Oh, sorry. I, see, I was going to insert something too after what you just said. And this is the thing with not. Yeah. Things yeah. Um, I forgot to. Let's see. So I said, yeah, I said about um, the tape recorder. Oh, so, oh, go ahead. But yeah, so like, yeah. And, and so like, um, you don't need to know, like, you know, so, so look, a simple routine you can build is really uh, you, you meditate for 15 minutes or, you know, practice intense presence. One of those two. Um, so let's say meditate every day for 15 minutes and at the end of the meditation, spend a minute or two just literally one minute or two minutes and practice gratitude at the end of the meditation. Mm -hmm. Or you can just meditate or you can just practice gratitude. So for me, gratitude is the most important. And then comes like presence and meditation and then comes like napping or sleeping when it comes to raising your vibration. Funny yeah. enough, because, because when you act, med na sleeping, napping is a lot like a meditation in the sense that like you're shutting down your mind for just a little bit. Um, so like, because like, if you are really negative right now, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try to raise your vibration. If you're feeling angry right now, I'm not going to try to make you happy. I'll try. I would recommend you to get to neutral first. Right. So, but anyways, so it's subtracting and adding, right. Subtracting the negative thoughts and adding the positive. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So if you build, you just, but turn that into a routine. So if you meditate and practice gratitude, but that's very general routine but it's kind of like it gets you a good sense like everyone i work with like their their like reality the what they're the, the results that they're seeing almost directly has to do with their vibrational practice which is something i talk about it's just your daily so you know people prioritize you know going to work prioritize whatever right but i'm telling you if your priority is just to raise your vibration vibration is just to prioritize feeling happy like, like, yeah. It, and you just turn that into a little quick habit, just like we brush our teeth every day, take a shower every day. Oh, it only need to take like less than five, 10 minutes. Like, you mm -hmm. know. and are there any suggestions that you have for people to develop these habits? Like, for example, you know, would you advise someone set an alarm on their phone or, you know, pick an accountability buddy to check in with them? Like how are ways that people can start adopting these, you know, healthy habits to, to really yeah. raise their vibrations. Right. So just kind of for the viewer, like look at your, where you're at. Like if you're struggling with your thoughts right now, I would instantly think, so you're at like, you're at, here's a scale, right? You're at like, let's say negative 10, like negative 10 is like low, super low vibrational zero is neutral. Positive 10 is like super high vibe. So if you're at like negative 10, I will try to get to zero. I would just try to quiet my mind. So I will recommend the mastery of your thoughts and that's more intense or uh, sorry, the mastery of presence. And that is more intense. Um, but that's something I would like, you know, if, if do first, if you struggle with um, appreciation. So anyway, from that point on, you, for all, uh, um, if you want to, you know, go higher, it's, you know, appreciation. So the mastery of presence and the mastery of appreciation. Now with appreciation, you can set a timer or whatever. It only needs to take a minute or two, but treat it like almost like you're going to the gym, right? It's okay if you suck at gratitude um, for the first one or two weeks. It's like your first week at the gym, you're not lifting 300 pounds. You don't go to the gym because you're already strong. And then mm -hmm. you don't leave the gym because, oh, I can't lift 500 pounds or whatever. Like, you know, like, so 
as far as like the what you said about like kind of a good way to just kind of make sure you're practicing um yeah just pr- literally prioritizing like mm. prioritizing it like just a minute or two and just consistently prioritizing it consistently literally one or two minutes a day that's it of gratitude but if you struggle with gratitude because especially if, because your thoughts are loud then um i would recommend presence but presence is not as much of a it's not as easy for people to really just okay let's me, let me build a little habit uh for presence presence is usually something i work with people on like way more in depth mm-hmm. but gratitude is really like the rocket launcher the like the the goal mine a lot of times and but it's so simple to practice it's actually really simple but i think most people what's stopping most people from simply practicing this is how much they're just struggling with their negative thoughts and momentum mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And, and if I may, I would, I would love to add that I think for people who struggle with presence or gratitude, a, a way that helped me personally to kind of a, achieve that was focusing on the strengths that I have or the things that I knew without a shadow of a doubt. Like I had so much certainty that I was good at, you know, even if your life sucks and everything is like, you know, feeling like it's crumbling around you, there's always at least like one or two things that you can recall, even if it's like, you know, I'm really good at talking. I'm really good at, you know, something that like you could take for granted. Cause to be honest, there's a lot of things that I used to take for granted. Like I'm a good networker. I'm a good speaker. I'm a good this. And, but I'm like, but that's like so easy. Like everyone knows how to network. Everyone knows how to make friends. And it's like, not really. Like those are things that I started taking for like that I took for granted. uh Uh-huh. That is right up my alley. I just want to say, so this is the way I see it from energetic standpoint, right? I see it as like, okay, um, there's every thought you, okay. So you, there's infinite lenses, like lenses, Mm -hmm. there's infinite aspects, right? You can tune into, you tune into these aspects a lot of times, mostly by your, the thoughts that you think. Um, and the thoughts that you think are really just what your focus is on. It's the frequency that you're focused on, but that's anyways. So Most of us are really good at tuning into the negative aspects, right? So, um, so the thing is like, okay, why is it easy? So what about something? Okay. So you, you like networking, right? This is such a great example. Like, like you're, let's say you're a great networker and you feel like a lot of people are great at networking. Well, what about like, I don't know. Uh, I have bad skin or whatever, well, like a lot, doesn't a lot of people have bad skins or physical conditions too? Why are you so focused on that? Right? Like it's the same thing. It's like, but the thing is when you start focusing on any positive thing, so start easy, right? Never start like, Oh man, I'm so happy that I'm going to be a billionaire or whatever. Yeah. If you, if, if you struggle with you know money your whole life, don't go there. Don't go there. Just don't go there. Start with things that are easy to appreciate. But what is happening is the same mechanism that have the same attraction mechanism, the magnet mechanism that happens with negative thoughts happen with positive thoughts. So look, if I start thinking about, uh, man, I hate the weather or whatever, I start thinking about that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have more and more thoughts like that. And eventually, at first, when I think these thoughts, I might not feel as negative, right? But you start thinking about it a lot, that's when you start to really get negative. So you start to really tune into the aspect. But the thing is, there's always more and more momentum. So same with the positive, start easy, start simple. Like I, I love that. Like, but also, yeah, like, but, but once you start tuning into that frequent, the positive frequencies, you'll just find so much more things to appreciate. So use yeah. the things that are easy to you as the launching pad, right? So start with that. Just like most of us start with little negative thoughts that leads to bigger, stronger, negative thoughts. We start with little positive thoughts that lead to bigger, stronger, positive thoughts. Um, but I want to give everyone an example of this. So I want to practice what I call a thought rampage. It illustrates um, how your mind is like a magnet. Um, it illustrates how whatever momentum you build keeps going. So when you think a negative thought for, for, for a few seconds, more and more negative thoughts come via the law of attraction. So this is all energy based. Don't even think of this from a mind perspective. Think of it from an energetic perspective. When you think of, when you think a positive thought, because the law of attraction automatically kicks in after a few seconds, you're going to have more and more thoughts like it. So I'm going to think a simple thought and watch me take that thought really quickly to 
something just kind of a little deeper, right? So I'm thinking, so I'm not, so I'm not even thinking these thoughts. The first few thoughts I'm thinking, but the rest of the thoughts are literally coming to you. Just like all your negative thoughts that you're thinking, sure, you're thinking some of these negative thoughts, but when you continue to focus on it, your thoughts become really magnetic and attract more and more things to fear and feel negative about, and then get stronger and stronger. So let me start with something simple. I love that I'm doing this podcast episode right now. I love that I get I got to meet Lizzie and we got to talk um, before this podcast. And there were so many amazing things that we talked about. And um, I already had a few breakthroughs and I'm, I'm loving this podcast episode. And I love knowing that there's light beings out here who are just uh, spreading the light. And I love, I feel so excited knowing that like there's so many um more opportunities for us and for um partnerships and for just like ways to help people and just like there's so much potential and i can't wait to meet more and more people and like this whole journey has been so fun and i've been feeling so good all the time and this is like so much fun anyways so you see like i started one thought right and then you just kind of it becomes more or i can do something negative like mm, like uh man uh I'm out of shape. I hate my life. Like things suck. Like, um, like, man, I shouldn't have been born. I shouldn't have gone to college. Like I should have like, this or that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, negative is a little harder for me to do. I used to be great at it, but now it's a little harder, but just think of thought and it just keeps going. So that's notice this happening in your life, like in a negative direction. Now you're already a, a master thinker in the negative direction. Mm. Now we just need to slowly unprogram that and, and become a master thinker in a positive direction. I love that. Thank you for both examples, by the way. And I, I, I feel the same good vibes too. And like, it, it is great that when you put this into a, a specific example to like help people and help the listeners, like see what you mean by that. Like I was able to see how it starts with like this little, you know, it's almost like the, the ripple effect where it started with this rock that was dropped in the water. And then it started with these like ripple effects. And I can definitely attest that you know when it comes to like the negative side of things i have a great example that i can give because this happened to me like a couple weeks ago i am not usually one to focus too much of my time and energy like watching the news but because of covid because of everything that's been happening you know i've been too consumed in like twitter specifically with the news at least at the time i had to put yeah boundaries for myself but Mm -hmm. the example is you know um i would i heard something on the news and I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe that that was just said. And then I would go to Twitter and people would be like, oh, well, I actually agreed with that. And I'm like, I can't Mm -hmm. believe this person agrees with this. And it's just like every single thing was this ripple, this negative, excuse me, like rippling effect. And to be honest with you, and I was telling this to everyone in my life, I was like, I am a very like optimistic, glass half full type of person. And for like two weeks, I somehow didn't, I wasn't putting the boundaries on myself and I was consuming so much of all of the like negativity that I started like feeling angry and like just frustrated and like sometimes oh, yeah. hateful. And I like hate to admit that, but it's like, there were these thoughts that I was like, Oh my God. And that was when I was like, okay, you know what? I, it, it's so great to like know what's happening in the world, but there comes a point where it's knowing about something versus obsessing over something. And I was definitely on the obsessing side. Oh Yeah. So that, oh, yeah. was, that was when like, I let it happen for like a week or two. Cause I was like, nah, maybe like, it's not that bad, but then it was affecting everything else. And it's like, I couldn't stop. Even when I wasn't reading a tweet or watching the news, I was thinking like, I can't believe that person said that. And it was like, my vibration was definitely lower because I was so focused on that one thought. But in the same way that you just did the example of like, you know, so glad that I'm on this podcast. So glad that I met Lizzie, like all those things. It's like, I kept thinking, oh my God, this bothers me so much. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> this bothered me that this bothered. It's just, and it like, yeah. and I was yeah. sometimes, and I think this is the key here too, is like, sometimes I wasn't even consciously thinking about these things. Sometimes it was like, yeah. I had one conscious thought, but then all of those other ripples yes. in, in the river were subconscious. Yes. And because they were so subconscious, I wasn't realizing that it was affecting me. But then I was like, but I feel angry and I feel frustrated and I feel annoyed and like irritable and everything was like, like bothering me. And I was like, 
you know, I'm not even PMSing. I was like, what is wrong? Like, and I'm like, it's the news. I need to stop taking, you know? So then like, that's when you start doing, okay, now let me think a positive thought. Let me think about one good thing that happened today. One thing that I learned about something that makes me happy. One thing that I'm good at. And it's like, you know, and now it's like, I haven't, I haven't felt that way in a while because I set boundaries and I made the conscious decision as you were saying too, like the conscious decision to um, hyper-focus on like one thing at a time. And I chose to focus on something that was empowering versus disempowering. um, And that created the ripple. So. I have so many things to say. Um, Number one. Yeah. So when, when negative thoughts come up, right? Like I hope people don't think like I'm thinking, I'm saying, okay, start thinking positively. Right. So for me, when negative thoughts come up, I just return to neutral silence my mind and then when i around the times where i i feel the best during that day uh then i practice gratitude for literally one or two minutes like Mm -hmm. that's it's not anything crazy or what i do nowadays is literally as i go through my day i just quickly call out things to appreciate you know that's a great idea um, very quickly and just the really anyways number one that was that uh but number two like your thoughts have magnetic potential so what that means is when you first think a thought, right, it, it's, it's okay, like, not much happens, but when you focus, continue to focus on it, now this thought, this thought starts to activate this magnetic property, and that's what the law of attraction is. Stop thinking about, stop thinking about law of attraction as manifesting for a second. Just think law of attraction like gravity for thoughts. Like, you have a bubble, and mm-hmm. now you focus on this bubble for five seconds. Now like five, six more thought bubbles come. And then now 10 more thought bubbles come. Like, so if thoughts are magnetic, positive or negative thoughts. Um, third thing is you can only focus on one, one thing at a time. Usually. So, so let's say there's this perfect city. It's like New York City. It's like perfect. Or it's like New York City, but a billion times better. Or just this perfect <laughs> city. There's perfect parades. There's perfect houses. There's perfect people. There's perfect skies. There's perfect everything. There's, so let's say there's nine amazing things about this place and one negative thing about this city. There's a um, pothole on Fifth Avenue. So mm-hmm. that's the only negative thing about the city. Now, if you focus on just any of the nine things, you know, give gratitude for how amazing, I don't know, the food in that city is or whatever, right? Now you are on a positive frequency. and You're activating all these positive things all these po- positive attraction points and whatever, but someone can be in that same city and they focus on the one negative pothole, the yeah. one negative thing that you can focus on. Now the nine positive things don't even matter because you're in that negative frequency. So same thing with negative things. Let's say we live in a terrible city like Gotham, like <laughs> from Batman, like just like the, the terrible That's a city. That's great example. Yeah, there's jokers living everywhere. First of all, think about why are you there in the first place? Like, as far as why are you in vibrational resonance in, with that city in the first place? But then, if you can find one thing to appreciate, let's say there's nine bad things about the city, but one good thing about the city, like you get to see Batman every week or something, <laughs> you give gratitude for that. Start off by giving gratitude for that or whatever, and your reality will start changing because your energy changes. But your thoughts mm-hmm. are the mechanism is, is your control center for your frequency. So love that. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. That's a great. That I feel like that's like one of those mic drops. Like, and again, I, I feel like this conversation could continue. And by all means, I would love to have more conversations with you. I just looked at the time, and I'm like, I think we're what approaching. I think we're approaching Damn. an hour. <laughs> So <laughs> as much as I would love okay. to keep going, I'm like, there could definitely be a, a part two, but just as like a final closing, um, you know, when it comes to your book, where, where can we find it? Where is it available? Like just help us find where we can okay. uh, go get it. All right. So my time to plug. Um, <laughs> yes. So um, uh, honestly, if people want to just, I don't even care about selling the book, but just like for people, if they want to, I don't know, go deeper into this, um, I will link my website or I'll, I have a link tree. Can you link, can you yeah, link I'll, link tree in the, can you do that? I'll put it in the description of the, of the YouTube video. So yeah, for everyone listening, Whoa, go check out the description. Nice. I'll post it. Like it'll be on my Twitter and on my LinkedIn as yeah. well. So I'll, I'll be sure to distribute it everywhere, yeah, but yeah, I'll it'll, it'll be part of here. 
yeah um yeah this is this is a great uh like interview to, or just a great conversation to not like uh or, i mean it's a great it's too good of an interview to not promote you know <laughs> as far as like as to, to not share you know um, and, and but, that's what i love about this is like i call all of these conversations soul chats and to be able to like have a really yeah. awesome conversation and like vibe with someone and and have it recorded yeah. it's like that's actually why i started my podcast was because i was like you know there's so many great conversations that I've had with people too. And I'm like, if only this was recorded so I could share with people, then I'm like, hmm. <laughs> so now I'm doing that on my podcast yeah. and doing it on my YouTube. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome. Like, and again, as you said, it's like when you find like these other light beings who are just all about like spreading the good vibes and talking about all of this just to help support people and love on them. Like, this is what it's all about. So we're all here together. We're all in this together. And, you know, thank you again for all of this. Yeah. So like, if you think about it, like me and you, as far as this stuff, like we're, we're like, we have a lot of similarities. Um, as far as like even podcasts, I, you know, I have my own podcast. You have your own, like the way I see it is we just have different shows. It's like, you know, so mm -hmm. it's like, um, yeah. So, but it's like, you know, if you click the link tree, you just get, you know, more information. Like you just Perfect. get more, like you learn about the course that I've created. That's free. You'll mm -hmm. learn about like my podcast, my Twitter, whatever. But it's just like, people will re resonate with different things, but like, man, I'm so excited for us, like for both of us, like me and you, you know, like <laughs> damn, we're doing good things out here and we're yeah. growing and like, fuck yeah. Like it's I amazing. love to like, I love to continue like just our relationship, like just outside of podcasting, like just, just like chatting, like, you know, for like sure. just to talk and just to trade notes or not trade notes, but you know, like just kind of, you know, yeah. It's nice. Nice. It's, so. it's so great to do all the mind melding. So, and I totally agree. And again, this is where like, you know, and we can even use the comment section of this, of this YouTube video to like engage with Shit. people who, oh, who like, I think if we turn the comment section to like an open forum, like I would love to hear people's opinions and feedback. So like leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to both of mine, mine and Andy's channel and um, stay tuned for, yeah. for more videos yeah. and maybe a part two. So <laughs> yeah. This is really awesome. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm. I literally, I literally have, uh, like, what was I gonna say? Oh, I just started a YouTube channel. I forgot I have a YouTube channel. Like, <laughs> uh, so like I forgot. Like you're, I forgot you're on YouTube and stuff. So my my YouTube could use a lot of love. So yeah, but, let, this will be like a great a great video to post on both of them. So it'll it'll be available. Yeah. But amazing, Andy. I'm very happy. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. All right.